sum it up, we're going to be flying some long missions today and in two orbits over distinct geographical areas. The first orbit is Afghanistan. The second is over the Mediterranean and Africon. I know this will demand a lot from you and your crews, but there are several hot spots in the world today. And in addition, we have some humanitarian relief operations already underway. Our national leaders need to understand what's happening on the ground in order to provide an effective response to both situations. Let's not let them down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I received an electronic targeting report from the MGS. The SAR image shows the possible placement of a roadside IED on a main supply line. All right. Mark the location and send the coordinates to local forces. Yes, sir. Alpha 1, this is Foxtrot 2 Delta. We have a possible IED at grid location 5739er. I've also got some movement tracks in from Afghanistan you'll want to take a look at. There's a NATO convoy heading north from Kabul, and we're picking up what looks like an enemy ambush forming in these hills. Contact the TOC and let them know the situation there. They can probably get some air assets to check that out, but we don't want the convoy going through there. What's the situation at the NATO outpost that's been getting weekly insurgent attacks? We're getting good movement tracks and imagery from the outpost. We're watching it closely due to the attacks in recent days. Good. What's going on over the Mediterranean? Well, sir, we're tracking several cargo ships and some nearby vessels seem to be descending on one. We vectored a fire scout in to get a closer look, and I've been using yesterday's moving target indicator to track them back to the originating port here. I've notified the operations center, and they've gotten the information to all the coalition warships in the area. All right, good work. Keep a track on them if they flee when the fire scout or coalition ships arrive so we can provide NATO with position updates. What's the status on that recent quake? We'll be on station soon. Coalition helicopters are already on site. We'll be aiding them in looking for survivors and assessing current conditions of roads to identify the best routes to bring in supplies to the worst hit areas. All right, we also need to work on the civil unrest in Central Africa. NATO headquarters and the national capitals are asking for the latest information on where the enemy forces are located to help protect infrastructure and civilians who may be in harm's way. Yes, sir. Keep alert, people. This information is critical in responding to and also anticipating future events. We are NATO's eyes in the sky for ground surveillance. NATO Alliance Ground Surveillance, providing nations with comprehensive ground and maritime surveillance and also situation assessments for the full range of NATO and coalition operations to protect the peace and provide security.